What major systems has DRDO deliver to the armed forces and the nation is the often asked question. A quick look-see in this direction for the answer. The cumulative production value of products developed by DRDO stands at 29,500 crore rupees and the R&D cost at 9,809 crore rupees. The share of various disciplines in the production pie is graphically represented. Missiles, the jewels in the DRDO crown. Already inducted are Prithvi 1, Prithvi 2, Dhanush, the naval variant, Agni 1, Agni 2, the successful launch of Agni 3, the 3,500 kilometer plus ballistic missile has been historic from our strategic needs viewpoint. It also paves the path for longer ranges in future. Nag, the third generation top attack, fire and forget anti-tank missile is all set for induction. The recent success of Akash, the 25 kilometer SAM with multiple target handling capability has got a green signal from the Chief of Air Staff. Anticipated induction would mean production value of 1,000 crore rupees. 100% success in the first two intercept launches against live ballistic missiles in endo and exo-atmospheric trials has catapulted India into the rare club of nations having ballistic missile defense capability. The supersonic anti-cruise missile Brahmos a joint venture with Russia has top honors to its credit and orders worth crores from the Navy. Tejas, the multi-role combat aircraft, is presently under rigorous flight tests. Four birds have together done nearly 800 flights, clocking 424 hours. An initial order for 20 aircraft has already been placed by IAF. Luxia, the high subsonic, remotely piloted target aircraft has been inducted into the three services. An LSP order for 12 numbers of Nishant, the unmanned aerial vehicle, has been received. Production of the first four Nishants is to get over shortly. The mission computer, display processor and radar computer for SU-30 MK-1 developed indigenously have been commissioned and are in use. A variety of systems required for aerial delivery of equipment, vehicles, stores and troops have been developed over the years and are in use with our armed forces. The 2D surveillance radar Indra inducted in the 80s has been the workhorse of the Air Force for decades. The Air Force and Naval variants of CAR, the medium-range 3D surveillance radar, have been accepted for induction and an order for nine radars is under execution. The electronically scanning phased array radar Rajendra for the Akash missile system has been successfully tried out. The Maritime Patrol radar Supervision 2000 has been successfully tried out on naval ALH and Donia platforms. Over 1,200 numbers of battlefield surveillance radar SR have been produced by BEL and supplied to the Indian Army and the BSF. Weapon locating radar has successfully completed user trials. An order for 28 systems of the planes version is under execution. Bharani, a low-level lightweight 2D surveillance radar for deployment in mountainous terrain has been accepted for induction by the Indian Army. An order for four systems has been received. 500 numbers of the modern net radio with advanced ECCM features have already been productionized. Sectel, a secure telephone providing subscribers end-to-end -end digital secrecy has been productionized for different user agencies. Major blocks of the integrated electronic warfare system Samyukta have been delivered to the Indian Army and operationalized. Sangraha, the naval electronic warfare system 
comprising five types of equipment, has been deployed on four different types of platforms of the Indian Navy and operationalized. Nagan, the active compassive towed array sonar, is to be fitted on all new frontline ships under construction. Orders have been placed on BEL by the Indian Navy. Mihir, the sonar capable of being deployed from airborne platforms, is under installation on ALH. Installation of Ushas on submarines is under progress. Three systems have been installed. Fire retardant paint and self-stratifying paint developed for naval platforms are being extensively used. A new technique of underwater painting of ships has also been developed. After acceptance by the Navy, 25 numbers of torpedo advanced light are under production. 250 numbers of processor-based ground mines produced and supplied to the Indian Navy. A further order for 300 numbers is in the pipeline. After possibly the longest ordeal by fire in the history of tank development, a world-class tank, Arjun, joined the mechanized forces. Of the 124 under production, 14 have been handed over and another 30 are near ready at HVF. Initial production problems notwithstanding, Arjun holds its own as a frontline main battle tank. Modified T-72 Ajaya. Of the 450 required, 300 have reached the army. Tank X, worthy of joining the Indian Armory, is in our opinion export worthy. Limited series production of five systems of Sarvatra, each consisting of five bridges, has been completed. NBC Recce Vehicle, designed to carry out reconnaissance in contaminated areas, has been accepted by the Army. Limited series production of the first lot is under progress. The first batch of bridge layer tanks, based on the T-72 hull, productionized under LSP project have entered service. INSAR's family of weapons are under regular production in ordnance factories and over a million are in use presently. Pinaka, the multi-barrel rocket launcher approved for induction is under production. NBC protection equipment worth over 125 crore rupees have been productionized and supplied to the army. Critical materials such as the composite Kanchan armor for MBT Arjun, carbon carbon composites for use in missiles, advanced composites for Tejas, AB class steel for warship construction, heavy alloy penetrator for FSA PDS tank ammunition, special alloy steel for infantry combat vehicles have been developed and productionized. Laboratories engaged in the development of agriculture and animal husbandry practices suitable for remote, inhospitable regions of the Himalayas have rendered yeoman service for the development of these regions by pioneering practices particularly suited to these regions. Life sciences laboratories have come up with very effective solutions for several unique challenges faced by troops deployed along the border areas. They have also developed several diagnostic kits, besides developing antidotes for biological and chemical warfare agents. DRDO has executed several welfare projects such as Sujalam for providing desalinated water in affected areas in Rajasthan, fitment of FRO kits for polio-affected children, removal of excess iron, arsenic, etc. in groundwater. Nation's signature of pride has often been inked by DRDO, the sky, on land, and underwater. This is not a miracle wrought overnight, but the outcome of decades of toil by the scientific community. An inspiring leadership provided by a succession of scientific advisors and distinguished scientists and engineers, both civil and military. In the golden jubilee year of DRDO, 
we salute them all. As I look back, three points emerge which have come to stay with the DRDO brand image. One, the resolve in the young and dynamic scientific community to overcome technology challenges. Two, to deliver, unfazed by failures and undaunted by the exacting demands of an unrelenting clientele. And three, the dare-do spirit of DRDO to make the aspiration of the nation become their destination. <laughs>